Hello? Hello. This is Agent Wells from the IRS. I'm calling to inform you that a warrant has been issued for your arrest regarding unpaid taxes. To resolve this issue, we need your credit card information immediately. Otherwise, the police are going to arrest you and the bank is going to seize your assets. Oh my god, are you sure? I thought I put them in the mail a few months ago. Sorry ma'am, they were never received. I can only help you if you provide payment right away. Can't I resend a check in the mail? Ma'am, there is no time. Agents are on their way to your house right now. Oh my god, let me get my wallet. Okay ma'am, please hurry. Your client should know that the IRS will never threaten to bring in law enforcement and have someone arrested for not paying. They can never demand payment of a bill over the phone unless they have sent in a bill in the mail and given you an opportunity to question the amount they say is owed. Even still, someone will never be asked to send in a prepaid debit card or give credit card information by phone. If a client should notify your office of a matter such as this example, please reach out to the legal department at American Portfolios to discuss. Hello? Hello, ma'am. My name is John, and I work for the Social Security Administration. Due to suspicious activity, your Social Security number has been suspended. For verification, can you provide your full Social Security number? Suspicious activity? How do I get my account unfrozen? Well, ma'am, in order to reactivate your account and protect your money, we need to verify your full Social Security number. Okay, I'll give it to you. It's 864 29 7487. Okay, since I can confirm your identity, we will require a $500 fee in order to reactivate your social security number. You can pay right now with a credit card, prepaid debit card, or a wire transfer. All right, I have my banking information right here. What do you need? Uh, let's make this easy. I'll take your account information right now. The Social Security Administration does not suspend social security numbers and will never recall and require someone to send money, especially by wire transfer, credit card, or prepaid debit card. Individuals should never give out their social security number to someone over the phone. If a client should notify your office of a matter such as this example, please reach out to the legal department at American Portfolios to discuss. Hello? Grandma? Who is this? It's your grandson. Don't you recognize me, Grandma? Is it my Joseph? Yes, Grandma. I, I really need your help. Well, what's wrong? I got fired from my job and I can't pay my rent this month. Can you please help me out? It's, it's due tomorrow. Your parents can't help you out? I really don't want them to know. They told me when I took this job that I would be here for years. I am so embarrassed. Please don't tell them I asked you. Okay, sweetie. You know Grandma is always here for you. How much do you need? I need $1,500 in my bank account by tomorrow, or they're going to evict me. Can you set up a wire transfer? Of course. What's your routing number? The scammer in this scenario pretended to be a grandchild in trouble. The victim did not ask any questions to verify the identity of the person on the phone or the story they were being told. In this situation, the person should always ask a question that a stranger could not know the answer to and ask other family members if they can verify the story. Given the frequency of scams, it is important to slow down when responding and confirm their story with specific details, even going as far as asking for a phone number to call back later. If a client should notify your office of a matter such as this example, please reach out to the legal department at American Portfolios to discuss. Hello? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm calling from Publishers Clearinghouse to congratulate you. You've won the grand prize sweepstakes and receive $500 a week for the rest of your life. Really? I don't even remember entering. Absolutely. The drawings are randomized from a list of phone numbers. A check for your first payment has been mailed to you, but in order to receive the rest of the money, you'll need to pay a one-time processing fee. But I haven't received a check yet. We just sent it out. It should arrive soon. Oh, okay. How much is that processing fee? It's $1,000, and you can pay by wire transfer, credit card, or by mailing as a prepaid debit card. And I will receive $500 a week for the rest of my life? 
Yes, ma'am, you will. You are our publisher's clearinghouse grand prize winner. But you need to act now. We may not be able to consider you as a winner. No, wait. Where should I wire the money to? Unfortunately, this person was subjected to one of the many sweepstakes scams. Publisher's Clearinghouse will never call in advance to inform someone of their winnings. In this case, they really do show up in person, just like you see on TV. You cannot win a sweepstakes that you did not enter and will never be required to pay money in order to claim a prize. If a client should notify your office of a matter such as this example, please reach out to the legal department at American Portfolios to discuss. Hello? Hello, ma'am. My name is Asia Knox, the Department of Homeland Security. We have been made aware that you won the jackpot of $1 million in the European World Lottery. I did? I didn't even buy a ticket. Well, the drawing is from a ballot of over 250,000 names across America and Europe. Yours was selected at complete random. That's amazing. How do I get the money? Since the money is coming from an international lottery, it is subject to both U.S. taxes and fees, for which you'll need a lawyer to facilitate the transfer. Luckily, we have one available for you. His name is Simon Brown, and I can transfer you to him now. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is attorney Simon Brown. Hi, may I help you? Hi, my name is Denise Green, and I won the European World Lottery jackpot. I was referred to you in order to claim the prize money? Hello, ma'am. I would be happy to help you. Granted that you're willing to pay my upfront fee of $250. Once you give me the retainer, I can set up a tradition account for you to wire $1,000 to pay the international transfer tax. Once that money is received by the United States government, the money will be unlocked for you to use at your disposal. Would you prefer to send the money in two separate payments or one lump sum of $1,250? I'll do whatever gets me the one million the fastest. Okay, the fastest way to start this process would be to wire the money through my writing number. Then I can work on your case immediately. Okay, I'll go to the bank right now. It is impossible to win a lottery that you did not buy a ticket for. If you enter a lottery, you must verify the winning numbers. No one will contact you to inform you of your winnings. The only way to be entered in a foreign lottery is if you were there on vacation and bought a ticket. Otherwise, it's fraud. No matter what prize the person calls and claims you've won, they are taking your money. You will never get the big prize they offered, but will receive additional requests for payments instead. If a client should notify your office of a matter such as this example, please reach out to the legal department at American Portfolios to discuss.